So I've got a question for you. Are you desperate to win the race? Are you desperate to do a PB in 100 meters or in 200 meters or in 400 meters? The reason why I ask you whether you're desperate is because that desperation is stopping you from doing that, from actually doing the PB. I've, in all the personal best that I did, in whether in 400 meters, in the 400 meter hurdles, even in the 200 meters, they were never when I was desperate to do it. I was confident in how I felt, but the one thing I had was either I was confident I was going to do a PB, which means I wasn't desperate, I just knew I was going to do it, or I was in the moment and I was relaxed. And there's a, desp there's a difference, because desperation brings that kind of wanting to do a PB, that kind of thing that the body understands that you don't have it. The body understands when you want something, the body understands that you don't have it. It's a strange way. It's to do with sometimes with manifestation and stuff like that. But if you're desperate to run a PB, then you're going to tighten up in the race and you're going to feel disconnected and you're going to run poorly. It always happened to me. And the one thing that I can recommend actually go back and watch the race is the Justin Gatland against Usain Bolt is a perfect way to illustrate this. It was in the 2015 uh, Beijing 100 metres. And I've talked about it previously about Usain Bolt and why I think that, that race was actually Usain Bolt's greatest race. Because he should never have won that race. He should never have won it. He was poor. He been injured a couple of months before he came into that race poor form and run very quickly compared to it compared to his normal dizzying heights Gatlin was the favorite in that final Gatlin should have won that final and he was winning it from about 20 meters out but the thing of what happened to Gatlin when he was 20 meters out and he was in the lead he started to become desperate he started to overreach for the line when you overreach for the line you start to understand, I could win this, I could win this, I could beat Usain Bolt. You start to tighten up. And you can notice it in that race, how he, he starts to get desperate for line. He leans forward. His, he loses his action, loses his, his kind of running action, becomes to tighten up. He starts to overreach for the line. Bolt, because he decided to win the race before it even started, he was on the line and he knew it. His own composure, he knew he was going to win the race came through, kept his composure, and overtook Gatlin and took him on the line. Desperation will stop you from running your best. If you're desperate for a PB and you're wanting to run that PB, if you're in that state on the start line, you will run tight. You've got to get into the state of being in the here and now, of watching your breathing, feeling your body, feeling your hands. Watching, you know, observing the mind, trying to come in and say, this is important, this is important, this is important. But observe the mind putting pressure on you. Because when you want something, you're going to put pressure on yourself. It's all a mind thing. So you take yourself out of your mind. You watch, you feel your feet distribution. How does your feet feel in your spikes? How does your body feel? Feel your hands. And this is bringing it into the here and now. You observe your breathing. And once you do that, you become certain. You become confident, as it were. And you're not allowing those things like wanting and desperation to tighten you up. You can't be desperate to run a PB on the start line. Don't be desperate. Know you will. And you're actually observe your body. Observe your breathing and you'll stay loose. So that's the video. It's in depth, a little bit philosophical, a little bit talking about mental state. It's a little bit towards manifestation as well, but it really does work. It really, it really does make a difference. Just stop, don't be desperate to run a PB on the front line. Don't want it too much. That will tighten you up and slow you down. We know tightness. We know tightness slows you down, brings you feel disconnected from your body. You won't feel move in your natural state you'll tighten up quicker and lose endurance it really is a killer so never be desperate never want it no feel your body observe your breathing and you're good to go so if that video gives you it was helpful please like please share and i'll see you in the next video